This summer on Rizzoli and Isles. Sometimes a good guy still wins. Thank you very much. Welcome back, Jane. Thank you. Oh my God, Tony. How do you know this guy anyway? I'm her father. I have so much to tell you, Jane. I win! I almost didn't kill Hoyt. I almost didn't do it. I don't know what I was thinking. It was very satisfying. The Hoyt episode was pretty shocking. It was very intense to shoot. Working with Michael Massey, who plays Hoyt, is always really cool. I loved it on so many levels. Maybe because it was dark and complicated and weird. That's kind of great. It was just awesome. It just sort of wraps up the whole package and brings it really in fully and truly all together. On November 28th, Rizzoli and Isles returns. Here's a first look at what's ahead. I think there's some really unusual things that happen in the winter run. The puzzles get more intricate. I can definitely say, without giving away any spoilers, we've got some big stunts coming up. It's a lot of action. It gets very intense as we move to the season finale. We explore some worlds that you don't get to see in procedurals. You see some relationships that you probably weren't expecting to see. We've got some surprising guest stars. We're moving into their lives, Jane and Morris, and seeing the situations that touch them, that hurt them, that they love. It's, it's just basically life. I hate it when you hate me, so I don't want to do anything to compromise our friendship. Good, because I hate it when I have to hate you. <laughs> Patty Doyle will be back. Tommy will be back. Tommy and Maura's relationship takes sort of an interesting turn. You've been so great to me. I see a lot of problems, don't you, if Maura and Tommy were to have a relationship? The fun thing about using Colin Egglesfield for this is he's such a hunk and such a screw-up, and you like him anyway. Do we want to see him with Maura? I don't know. Will we see him with Maura? I can't say. Or I'd have to kill you, I'm sorry. And there's more that comes back from the past of the characters. More with the Jane, you know, her love life comes into play. But what I do also love about it is that we're also exploring more, you know, the Frost character and the Corsac character. We'll get to see him take a very strong stand to protect the confidentiality of an informant to the extent of turning in his badge and gun because he will not give up the confidential informants. I won't give it to you. And then later, we'll meet his stepson that he raised from the age of one till 11, and then the ex-wife took him away, and they'll get to meet that kid. And I think the crimes are just getting better and better. The only thing that is protecting you two right now is me. I'm standing between you and a sniper's bullet. My favorite thing of all is when Tess Gerritsen will call me and she'll say, I didn't know that was the bad guy. And I'm thinking, yes. We have food tests. You know, you want that. We have very sophisticated viewers. These are people who've seen a lot of crime shows. So it was really important to me that we really work hard to make strong mysteries and to keep the family stuff going, because to me, that's the heart and the soul of the show, is the relationship between these women and the relationship they have with their family members. I mean, that's life for all of us. You know, it's a really great family here, so the fact that everybody likes it is, you know, sort of the icing on the cake, because we certainly have a blast making it, so. You want it to be a good book that doesn't end. You want to get to the end, you want to resolve all these relationships, but when you've resolved them, there's no more show. So, who's going to fall in love with whom? Who's going to be together with whom? Who lives, who dies? These are all questions we will answer, or probably not. Ha, 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 ha.